everybody. I just wanted to let you see uh, what Rocky's looking like today. There's the male blossom. You can tell it's a male because at the bottom of the blossom, the stem is very straight. There's no swelling. Now let me show you the female. That's the female. It hasn't opened yet, but I know it's a female because at the bottom of what's going to be the blossom is a big round swelling and that will become the pumpkin once it's fertilized. Trying to give you an idea of how much Rocky has grown this week. I think his vine probably has grown um, at least eight feet. If you, can, if you can remember from last week, and I will put the, uh, the link to the video in the description call, uh, he came right right to this section here. And I had the fencing closed right, right up into here. And now he's, he's grown all this. And just, uh, I guess it's about a week. Quite a bit of growth. I hate giving out trade secrets, but being the kind of wonderful person that I am, I'm going to do it. If you really want your pumpkin to grow, you need to use worm castings. And I just got a bunch out of my uh, worm farm, and there are still worms in there. But I don't mind letting them go, because they'll continue to do their work down under. <laughs> so, I'm just going to sprinkle this around the roots. I've been doing this uh, oh, once a week, just a little bit at a time. Look at that stuff. It's good stuff. I got this from the end where there's of the uh, tub where there's no food so I don't have too many worms in it. I'm going to put the bulk of it at the main stem of the pumpkin. I can get in there. There we go. Alright. Rocky, you're a one pampered little boy. By the time you get married, you won't be fit to be married, too. You expect your wife to wait on your hand and foot. You know how that goes. Alright, crumble that up. There we go. And every time it rains or I water, there'll be like a compost tea.